And we're back, everyone, to Portal 2. Now we should probably go say hello to we. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch Ow. Ow. <laughs> I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> I can't move then. That's the problem now. Are you still Are you still there? Could you pick me up, do you think? If you are there? Hello? Can you can you pick me up, please? <laughs> oh, I just like Wheatley's edges of dialogue lines when you don't do stuff. Sorry, are you still there? Could you pick could you pick me up? Uh, I'm just gonna kick you around for a bit, Wheatley. I know people are probably like If you are there, would you mind giving me a little bit of help? Just picking me up. Why aren't you continuing the game? You should be continuing the game. Not screwing around. We want you to speed. Look, look down. This. Where am I? Where am I? On the floor, needing your help the whole time, all the time, needing your help. Still here on the floor, waiting to be picked up. Um. Look down. Where? Who's that down there talking? It's me. Oh, brilliant! Thank you. Hey. Great. Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? I'm gonna stare right at him. I can't... I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> I, d I can't do it if you're watching. If you. Fine. All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Right open. While well, your back was turned. And off we go. Oh. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on. Let me just get my bearings. Um. Just follow the rail, actually. Oh no. Yes. Hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. <laughs> keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> well, wasn't that fun? So we have Wheatley now. He's around. He's a little bow. And we can carry him around. Yay! Probably yeah. want to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Yeah, okay, I'm going to leave my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't don't go in there. Don't, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know, I know, I wouldn't have believed it either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. <laughs> then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story, you're up to speed. Don't touch him. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it, that is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? 
OK, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got, you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do, do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a note, no braces on your spine either, so, so don't land on that. Um, or your head, no braces there. That could, that could split like a melon from this height. <laughs> um, so do definitely focus on landing with your legs. Can I, quick question, have you been working out? Because, I'll be honest, there's no evidence of it. You know, I'm not, I'm not like just a plastic cup. Uh, we will be landing with some force, so uh, a bit of, bit of grip. Just using grip, classic grip. Right, let's go. Jump! What's the worst that could happen? Oh, oh, I just thought about the worst thing that could happen there. Oh, I just thought of something even worse. Better plan, a new plan, no imagining of any potential outcomes whatsoever, OK? Just just jump, just jump into the into the abyss and, and see what happens. Oh, it's still there, it's still in my head. Anything else to say, Wheatley? No? Ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. <laughs> ah! I just sorry. I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! Oh, I just done it again. <laughs> oh, this. Is this fun. is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right. Don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod, but as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, well, look at something else, look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. There's no way lights on. Okay. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. Just quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. No. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a pass. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack. It's not a problem. A, 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 um, A. Okay. A, 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 C. Um, wait, did I do beat the general pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural, but there's nothing wrong. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know uh, her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy. Dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh, oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. <laughs> Great. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Isn't this the incineration tube? I think it is the incineration tube. Oh, well, more loading screens. <laughs> The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. There it is. Hold 
hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me, again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't seem angry at all. Not one bit. <laughs> Yeah, reanimating the dead. We're test forever and ever. And ever. And loading screens. And ever. Chapter two. Sorry about open. the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first, simple test, which involves deadly lasers, and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Yay for deadly lasers. Oh well. Hey look, deadly lasers. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Yes, we do. A lot of tests. Did you know? A lot of tests. This next test involves discouragement re- Checking on my time. Mm, yeah, Direction cubes. Them. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. 
We weren't even testing for that. Good news, you are a horrible person. Don't so, let that yeah. horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. She just called me fat. I, 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 she just called me fat. I feel slightly sad now. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Waddle, waddle, waddle. <laughs> and more loading screens. Because you know, it won't be a Valve game without loading screens. At least it doesn't just say load. Yes, the flingy thing. In the next video, wait, how long it's been? It's been long enough. In the next episode, the flingy thing. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all, and have a nice day.